It happened in the blue state of Massachusetts. Last month, a plainclothes police officer wearing a body cam entered a middle school classroom after classes were done for the day. He came there to investigate a potential crime of obscenity after an anonymous caller complained about seeing a book with allegedly sexually explicit images on a shelf in the classroom. The book is Gender Queer, one of the most commonly challenged books in the United States. Here's how that investigation went as captured by the officer's camera. So this is the issue. Okay. Um, it's, it's, not the, it's not the general idea of what the book's about. It's, I can't present that kind of material to people on okay. the team. Um, so that's our concern and um, that's why we're here. Yeah, it's a memoir about coming of age. It turned out that the book was not actually in the teacher's classroom at that moment, so the officer could not seize it. Now, the police later apologized, and last night the school district initiated an investigation into how this happened, but still, it very much happened in the state of Massachusetts. On the other side of the country, some people would like to see more of this kind of thing. A few weeks ago in El Paso County, Colorado, a group of Republicans delivered a petition to their local prosecutor calling for him to enforce obscenity laws and remove hundreds of books from local schools. And then there is what is happening this week in the Escambia County, Florida School District. Dictionaries, as in dictionaries, were taken off library shelves because they describe words like sex. And that could potentially put the school libraries in violation of a Florida law signed by Governor DeSantis last year that gives any person in the state the right to demand the removal of any book that depicts or describes sexual conduct. The dictionaries are part of a list of more than 1,600 titles, including the Guinness Book of World Records, the Diary of Anne Frank, and biographies of Beyonce and Oprah Winfrey, all of which are now under review in the Escambia County School District, according to the Florida Freedom to Read Project. To be clear, the district has said that the 1,000-plus books have not been banned or removed from the school district. Rather, they have simply been pulled for further review to ensure compliance with the new legislation. In other words, dictionaries may still be available to school students at some point once they have been deemed safe for consumption. In the meantime, a federal judge has ruled that a lawsuit filed by PEN America, along with authors of some of the challenged books, as well as concerned parents who, I don't know, think dictionaries are useful in school. A federal judge has ruled that that lawsuit against the Escambia County schools can move forward to a potential jury trial. Stay tuned.